Let's go back to the concept of speed. Let's consider somebody who is driving at a constant speed of 60 miles per hour. A constant speed of 60 miles per hour. How do we interpret that? Well, we know the interpretation is that if you drove for one hour, uh, you would go for a distance of 60 miles. That is just hypothetical. It doesn't mean you're actually driving for an hour, but if you did, you'd go for a distance of 60 miles. So in one hour, how far would you get? 60 miles. Well, how is that useful? No one's really going to drive for exactly one hour. How does it help us to know how far you get in one hour if you're maybe not driving that far? Well, obviously, it's pretty obvious. If we know how far you can get in one hour, um, it's not too hard to figure out how far you can get in, say, two hours. If this person is driving for two hours, it should just be common sense that they're going to get 120 miles. Or if they're driving for three hours it's common sense that they're going to get 180 miles. So having this hypothetical information about how far you would get if you drove for one hour actually makes it very easy to figure out how far you actually get once we know how, how many hours you've actually driven. So this should be reminding you of what we talked about when we talked about prices because of course prices have um, a ratio unit and speed also has a ratio unit so it's not surprising that we can interpret them and make calculations about them in the same way. So um, let's actually write out more methodically how would, we, how would we do these calculations over here. How would we actually figure out how many miles you can go in two hours focusing a little bit more on the units. Try to write that out using the more meticulous approach that we used for prices earlier in the videos. Well, if we drive for two hours, oops, we're not trying to convert that into apples, are we? No, we're trying to convert that into miles. We want to know how many miles you can go in two hours. Well, let's step write down a ratio unit. What unit should I put here? Well, I want to cancel out the hours. So I'll put hours on the bottom, and then I have to put miles on the top, which will give us the units that we want. Now I have to put in some numbers. Well, I know the number 60 goes with the miles, so that goes on top, and the number 1 goes with the hours, so that goes on the bottom. Now the hours cancel and we're left with the units we want, which is miles. And we have 2 times 60 divided by 1. Well, we can ignore the 1, so we just have 2 times 60, which is 120 miles. So in 2 hours, we're going to get 120 miles. Now, of course, this was so obvious you didn't need to write it down so meticulously like this. But again, the reason we're doing this is you need to have a systematic method for solving these problems um, when you're dealing with concepts that your intuition is not as strong for, or when you're dealing with more confusing numbers. So let's try to work out meticulously how far you can get in three hours using the same unit approach. I hope you paused the video and tried writing that out. We're starting at three hours. We need to convert that into miles. So we need a unit ratio. We want hours on the bottom to cancel the hours up here. So we put miles on the top. 60 miles in one hour. Now we can cancel the hours. And 3 times 60 is 180. Now let's work out how far you can get in half an hour. At this constant speed, how far would you get in half an hour? Try to work that out meticulously using the units notation. Well, first of all, let's do it without the units notation. It should just be obvious just by looking at it. If you can go 60 miles in one hour, you can go half as far in half an hour. So the answer is going to have to be 30 miles. Just based on intuition, you can see the answer is 30 miles. Let's try to confirm that systematically. Well, 
one half hour, we need to convert that into miles. We need to put hours on the bottom to cancel the hours up here. So we put miles on the top. And we have 60 miles and one hour. Now the hours cancel. There's a couple different ways you can do this calculation. You could do one half times 60. One half times 60 is 30 miles. Or you could do 60 divided by 2. That's another way to interpret this calculation. Well, 60 divided by 2 is also 30 miles. So you could either interpret this as 1 half, 1 half times 60, or as 60 divided by 2. Remember that we multiply by everything that's on top of the line in the numerator, and we divide by everything that's below the line. Now, you could have done all these problems by using a formula. Distance equals rate times time. But again, you shouldn't really need to have this formula memorized. What we've just seen is that we don't really need formulas when we're working with ratio units. We can just focus on the units and maybe just our common sense to work out the answers to the problems. try one more problem. If you're going at 60 miles per hour, how far can you get in one hour? Well, that's really very obvious, but just for the practice, let's try to work this out using our systematic unit notation. So humor me for a second and try to work out the answer to this, not based on common sense, but using the systematic notation we've just been working with on units. Well, we're driving for one hour. We want to convert that into miles. We need to put hours on the bottom here. And then we can put miles on the top. Hours on the bottom, so these will cancel. So we have one hour and 60 miles. The hours cancel. And we have one times 60 divided by one, which is just 60. Now, like I said, Obviously, it's not necessary to actually write this down. You can just look at this unit ratio, and you know that in one hour we can go 60 miles. Um, but it's good to see that this we're all, we can also use our systematic approach, even for a super simple case like this. So once again, we've kind of proven here that this ratio unit does tell us how many miles you would get if you drove one hour. This is telling us how many miles you would get if you drove one hour. If you drove for one hour at 60 miles per hour, you would get a distance of 60 miles.